How's it going, guys? My name is Don Barrel, and welcome back to another episode of Vacation Police. This is episode 21. Let's get started. I'm feeling just a little bit better this time, and uh, I know this has, for some reason, been, like, the longest, like, sickness ever. And for some reason, I have textures that are fucked up, so I'm just gonna tab out and tab in real quick. So, as I was saying, I did have a sickness for, like, a... I don't know, a week and a half now, maybe even two weeks going into it. Um, this has been like the longest cold I've ever had in my life for some reason. Like it just doesn't go away. I'm still snotty and I'm still kind of coughing a bit. Uh, but enough of, about me. Let's talk about the suspect. So he gets a pretty nice kill on Salmon. Um, basically, Salmon got caught with his dick out and the suspect took advantage of that. Not really sure what's happening in this game at this moment. It's 7-3 for the CTs. So it looks like the CTs are getting a little bit cocky and trying to push into B main. Um... He's basically surrounded by enemies right now. There's one in T-spawn, another one in mid-main. Hurricane gets decapitated by the suspect. And uh, we're looking probably at another win for the CTs. Okay, is Heron a dead man? That's what I want to know. Ooh, smokes himself out. So smart. But the bomb is in mid-main, so I guess he doesn't have to commit to this fight. So, um, still it's a 4v2. The suspect, he's playing very smart. He's not giving them any advantages and at the same time he's denying any pushes into the main area so looking at the suspect he's top frag 15 and 7 73 percent headshot percentage um pretty standard for a good player i guess i would say i guess we we do see that he has 73 percent headshots and uh, that's a little bit unlikely especially going into round 12 uh but so far we haven't seen anything that might have been like you know aim hack worthy so let's find out now Gets a double spray down. Can get the fourth, but he's probably going to get the pistol. And he does. Will he get the ace? Um, nothing about those shots or kills were sketchy, in my opinion. Um, he got those first two headshots. They just magically lined up for him. So, in my opinion, all those kills were legitimate. And I think any, any good player could have pulled that off pretty easily. Uh, it looks like somebody disconnected. Rose right there is a bot. So now that they're stuck with a player um, that's disconnected, so I guess the bot will do. It doesn't really matter when the suspect is tearing shit up, but I guess it's still a bummer. Heron, you're playing with fire, buddy. Don't touch the suspect. Oh, he saw his head. Decapitation coming in. Okay, I missed my timing there, but there was no decapitation because Heron... Played it very smart, backed off, knew that he didn't have to commit to that fight. Um, as everybody else is trying to get some openings in B main, or A main I should say. They don't even need the suspect. The suspect is all the way in B. They're clearing house in A. Uh, long rotation from the suspect. So he's trying to do his best at really shitty bunny hops. Not really sure what he's trying to do here, but uh, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, they won anyways. You know, it, it is my dream to find another aim hacker or to the point of spin bot in one of these overwatch cases but it's it's always to no avail it's always we see you know semi legitimate players that look sketchy as fuck uh but still pull off shots that are pretty decent so not really sure why he ended up on this overwatch maybe there are other rounds that we'll see where he goes ballistic uh but as of right now i'm not really seeing anything that might be of value in this case okay now here's we got something to prove here um it's a it's a 3v4 the suspect can pull off some crazy shots. Uh huh. So this guy, very sketchy headshots. Um, it didn't even look like he even took the time to aim. He just saw them, sprayed them down, and magically got the headshots. Now he's getting spammed by his teammates. I guess they wanted to. Not really sure what they're doing, but I guess they wanted to defuse. The suspect let him because he's a nice guy. All right, so pistol rounds are a good, good representation of how good a person is with the headshots. So let's see if he lives up to the standard. Tip tap, tip tap, baby, let's go. And nothing. He decides to play very cautiously by sitting in quad, baiting out his teammates, not really helping them out. Not really sure what the plan is here for the suspect, uh, but in my opinion, this is a pretty dumb play. As they needed to get the bomb down on site, but instead he baited out his whole teammate instead of clearing the site. Misses a lot of shots. Those look look like to be pretty easy headshots. So what happened here? Suspect, did you toggle off or... Still gets taken care of. Uh, buys a Tech-9 instead. And uh, 
I think we might be able to see another round of aim hacks as this guy might go rage hacking. So I really want to see some aim hacks, bro, because this is uh, pretty boring. Nope, he's still missing a lot of shots. Yeah, this is definitely not enough evidence in this case to say that this guy might be aim hacking. Uh, that one round, we did see a little sliver of hope that this guy might have aim hacks. Uh, but in the following rounds, he didn't prove anything really and even with a deagle little disappointing in my opinion gets a spray down on hurricane nothing really too special I think this is a lost round guys um, we're not gonna be able to see the suspect get any more um, aim hack kills because I'm pretty sure this the case will be over in just a few minutes but not really sure what that play was where he just doing a little uh, running man dance Maybe he was adjusting his hacks. Maybe we'll see some one-taps here. Please, guys. Please. So it looks like his aim aim hack did not force onto the player behind the doors. Gets a spray down on Macaw. That was a little bit of a cool shot, in my opinion. He got um, lined up the head. Sprayed down a bit. And got the head shot. Um... Still, in my opinion, and a good player could have been able to pull off that headshot. Uh, just as long as he doesn't get anything sketchy on Heron here. It's a 1v2. I, w I really want to see this guy clutch with some crazy fashion. Gets the headshot. Uh, 24 HP versus 19 HP. It's basically one click wins the game. Um, but... He doesn't have time anyways, so I think this is game over for the suspect, and it's game over for the case. So my opinion, I don't think that we got enough evidence to, to completely say this guy had aim hacks. Yes, his head, headshot percentage was pretty high, but from the clips that we saw, there wasn't really anything that we can say that we can 100% make sure that this guy has aim hacks. There was that one round where he got a th triple headshot retake, I guess. Um, that would that one looked like pretty sketchy to me, but again, it's just one round anybody can get lucky in that one round and uh, Throughout the rest of the rounds. It didn't look like he was getting any more, you know Very crazy headshots. So for everything else I'm gonna give him insufficient evidence just because I feel like this case did not provide us with sufficient evidence To say that this guy was completely in 100% hacking. So that's why I'm going to submit my verdict Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Melon Barrel and remember be water my friends